Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to learn about the strictly typed forms in the Angular. So in the ever evolving world of Angular, the introduction of the strictly typed forms make marks a significant milestone, enhancing both the developer experience and an application robustness. If you ever felt the friction of managing form controls and their values, or if you have ever encountered the runtime errors due to the mismatch types or something like that means so then this video is the correct for you so let's try to learn about this one uh, what strictly typed forms are and why we will be why we need to integrate this one in your angular applications let's try to see it so what is a strictly typed form so let's try to understand about this one so here i will try to show you uh, let's open this one in the html i will write it here only at the bottom so here yeah Strictly typed forms in Angular ensures that the types of your form controls are known at the compile time. So the type, whatever the type, the data type of these form controls, uh, so it will make you allow, uh, allow to know at the compile time only. This means that instead of relying of any or unknown types, Angular can infer and enforce the exact type of data that each form control holds. So with this type scripts, powerful type checking capabilities come into play, providing you with instant feedback during development and reducing the likelihood of errors. So this is what I want to tell you about the strictly typed forms. Uh, what I want to say is the strictly typed forms in the Angular. So let's say that I will try to create a component. Okay, I am creating a just a simple user login component. And in this user login component, I will try to show you about the strictly typed form and also the uh, not strictly typed form, untyped form also. So both the things are supported. In Angular 14 onwards, I think the strictly typed forms has been introduced. I will try to show you the difference between those two. So let's try to create the component and here in our app.component.html. So I will try to use that one. So here I will remove uh, this entire thing and I will use app-user-login. So just I will try to have a login. So I have implemented here. So I think maybe it will take some time. So here the user login has been created. So here I have created the user login. Let's try to have it again. App iPhone user login. Okay. So fine. So in app component.ts file also I am importing. So everything is fine. Now here you will to see. Let's go on to the user login. User login dot component.ts file. So normally when you try to implement this uh, form builder, so if you are having a form builder or you can short form also, some people will try to do it as a, like this FB form builder is equal to inject of, inject of form builder. Okay. And you, I need to have a user login form is equal to this dot FB dot group. And in this one, you will be having the name which is of type empty okay and you will be having the age which is of type null, okay and you will be having the email let's say show so which is of type empty so this is the just a simple login form so now if you over here login form you will be able to see the types of this one so the form control of string or null the form control of null the age string or null you will be able to see it so if you want to mention this one you can have an interface okay so you can have an interface for this one so you can mention in a such a way that um, you can do it so interface user name of type string the two also form control of string and also here you will be having age form control of number okay and you can have an email form control of string so these are the things so now here you can mention it directly the type which you're you are trying to think user that's it now you are able to get an error that is string is missing okay here it is thinking something like this one so you need to mention it as new form control of so you can mention it something like this so you can leave it new form control and also here also you can mention it as an 
new form control if you want any default value means you can mention it so that's it so now this one is correct so now here you will be able to see the form group of users so it contains string number or a string so if you want to mention default values also you can mention it okay so here you if you want to mention it also you can mention not a problem so but by default there is no need to mention fine right so here so you will be having it like this so now or otherwise so there is no need to mention also so there is no need to mention this one also interface of user something like this also there is no need to mention automatically this one will be appended okay so here so if you mention the types of this one so empty and here you need to mention the number or null right so null okay and here you need to mention empty so if you want any other thing something like that means then you need to mention the uh, what i want to tell then you need to mention the type of user something like this that's it okay so now you have mentioned the type of form so let's try to implement this uh, user login implementation also in the html file so here i will be having a form okay it's a form group form group is equal to user login form and in this form i will be having a div and i will be having a label so name sorry name and also the name and here i will be having an input type is equal to text and also id is equal to name and here i can use form control name as name that's it so now here in the same scenario so i can copy here and i can paste it and here you can have an email the same thing i can copy this one and i can paste it here i can i can paste it here and i can paste it here in the same thing i can have another one that is nothing but age and i can paste it here and i can paste it here and i can paste it here sorry and i can paste it here so now we are able to get it so now if you want to import means we need to import the react to forms sorry react to forms module so fine so now this is the form which we are able to see so now if you try to submit the form so here you will be able to see do button submit okay and you can have an another one that is nothing but update values update values so now here i will try to show you so here i will i will click when you click here update value so this is the method which we will be having update values and here this one will be a type is equal to button so this is thing and here on submit so on submit ng submit is equal to sorry is equal to on submit we will be having this ng on submit also so now this is the strictly type of form so how can we able to know what is the use of this strictly type of form is so now so now we have built this one right so how you will use this strictly type of form so now we have mentioned this one all right so now what i will try to show you is so accessing the form value so now here um, we are having on submit this is the method on submit and you will get event of type event okay and here also we need to send the dollar event so that the form will not be submitted by default and we also have an another one update values okay so now if i want to update means this dot user login form dot set value i will try to use the sorry set value i will use the set value now if you want to update the value means so you know that name it is of type string so here you can update the value whatever the value you want and here if you want to update the age so if you want to update the age means then it will throw an error for you so here red mark you are getting why because so you cannot assignable string to a number why because so here it is a strictly type of form so we have mentioned here in the user that it is of type number okay so now here we are able to get an error so that means you need to mention must and should the number and the another one is email email means so then you need to mention the string so like this you need to mention it so now here if you try to update it automatically the values will be updated and if i try to click on the submit so here you will be able to get the dot prevent default okay and here console.log this dot profile form sorry 
profile sorry not profile user login form dot values dot value if you try to uh, get these values and if you click here see here you will be able to get a number something like a number thing so when you programmatically update you will get a number thing but when you are trying to update it here so depending on the type what you are trying to mention so here if you try to mention input type is equal number means then so whatever the value you are trying to mention it here so you will be able to get the number here okay so the type the strictly typed thing which you are trying to mention it so we are able to get these values now the what is the use of this strictly typed means accessing the form value so for example if you want to get the now uh, form value particular form value means so here you can able to get it very easily okay so here how you, if you want to get a particular email value means so how you can get it so here so user form login form okay dot controls so controls you can get it dot so you can get able to get this type of things email dot value so here like this directly you can use it so now if you want to get a particular email value means then you can get the email value if you click on submit see here i am able to get a particular email value and also you can use in another way also which you are able to see get off so here you will be able to get the uh, get um, get off email dot value so like this also you can do it so anything so which are the things you want you can do it so here if i try to click on submit then also you will be able to get the value so here anything you want you can get it so here we are able to get the type thing so here when with strictly typed forms accessing the values of your form controls become more initiative and type safe so now here you will be able to get in a such a way that for example you are trying to uh, store it in a variable constant age is equal to and here if i want to get the age means then this age will be of type number only if you try to see here it is of type number so here you will be able to see age age is declared but its value is not ever declared so here it should, a constant age is number or undefined so now here if i try to use it so now if you try to click on oh, submit means so here i am not consoling it so here the age will be of type number or undefined so like this you will be able to see it so now not only this one one of the most powerful accept which i want to tell you is the value changes when you automatically infer the type of value changes this means you can confidently subscribe to the form control changes without worrying about the incorrect types so for example let's say that if you want to have this one means so here ng on init i can use it and here this dot user login form dot controls sorry dot controls sorry what is that controls dot age dot value changes dot subscribe okay of data so now here what is the value you will be getting you will be able to get that console.log data now here you will be able to see the type of data which you are getting is a number we are able to understand it very quickly so here whatever the value i am trying to write it here so we are able to get a number only directly so this is the thing which you can able to understand that thing the benefits of this strictly type of forms is compile time safety errors are caught during development only not in the production improved code readability types access documentation making our code easier to understand enhanced ide support with clear types your ide can provide better auto completion and refactoring tools reduced bugs so we can reduce some of the bugs so previously which you should which you will be having is that that is nothing but an untyped form so if you want to have an untyped form means so here you can have new untyped form group okay so this is the thing which you can use it previously we used to have before angular 14 we used to have this one so if you want to use it means you can use this untyped then here you are getting an error see so now here if you try to see the age of this one so here you will be getting any of type any so now you are able to get it any so now here we are not able to can know the age so here you need to add something like this then only you will be able to get the output so now if you try to click on the update values we are able to get the update values in if i click the uh, uh, up, uh, update means so here whenever i try to change the values so here you will be able to get it but the intelligence will not be there <coughs> so if you want to use the untyped form group means then you need to use the untyped form group and also here also untyped form control maybe yeah untyped form control so like this you will be able to get it so it's not a problem so now if you mention like this also and same thing you can mention it like this and you can mention it like this and here you can mention the zero and you can here you mention it the same now if you try to see here 
so you will be able to see uh, any or something like that okay so now here so this is the thing how you will be using when you want to use it before prior to angular 14 and type of thing so from angular 14 onwards the by, by default if you mention the form group and all those things so those are by default type of forms only so that you can get a better readability and also better ide support also you'll be able to get it so that's it guys about the strictly type of reactive forms so there are some more concepts also which i want to discuss you so i will discuss in the next videos hope you understood about this type of forms if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you